In this problem, we've got a quarter circle, and inside the quarter circle, we've got a square that's tipped to 45 degrees, and it has an area of 28 square centimetres. So just using this information, we need to find out the area of our quarter circle. Let's start by labelling some points. So we're going to label the centre of the quarter circle as O, and the vertices of the square as A, B, C, D, working round clockwise. And we're going to label the width of the square as x. So the AD and DC are both x because it's a square, they must be the same. So the first thing we can do, we know that the area of the square is 28, and that must be the same as x squared. That's how you work out the area of a square. So using that, x must be equal to root 28, which simplifies to 2 root 7. As we want to find the area of a quarter circle, what we're going to aim towards now is finding a radius of our quarter circle, and then we can go from there. And we're going to find that by building up with triangles to work out this radius. The first line I'm going to add in to start creating some triangles is a radius from O that's going to bisect the line AB. Now, because AB is a chord, and it's being bisected by a radius, the bit where it bisects it must be at a right angle. So AMN is 90 degrees. Now, because this is a square and our new line is bisecting it at 90 degrees, we can also see that it must be meeting CD at a right angle and it's chopping those sides in half. So AM must be root 7 and DM must also be root 7. Now we've got these, we can find out some of the lengths in the bottom right corner. If we look at the triangle DCO, we know it's a right angle because this is a quarter circle, so the angle DOC must be 90 degrees. So by Pythagoras' theorem, the square of the length CD must be equal to OD squared plus OC squared. But by the symmetry of the problem, we also know that OD is equal to OC. So replacing CD with 2 root 7, replacing OC with OD, we get that the square of 2 root 7 is equal to 2 times the square of OD. Now if we square 2 root 7, that's the same as 4 times 7, it's 28. So we have 28 equals to 2 OD squared, so OD squared must be equal to 14, and the length of OD is root 14. We can now use this to find the length of ON, because we've got another right angle triangle there, OND, with the right angle at N. ON must be equal to the square root of the square of OD minus the square of DN. It's minus because ON isn't the hypotenuse, OD is. But we know that OD is root 14, we know that DN is root 7, so it's the square root of 14 minus 7, so ON is equal to root 7. We can now use this to work out the length of OM, our line that we fitted in, because OM is just ON plus NM. Nm, as that's right angles to our square, we know that that must be the size of the square, so 2 root 7, and we know that On is root 7, so the line Om, its total length is 3 root 7. We've now got enough information to get a radius in here, so if I put in the radius Ob, we can see that we make a triangle OBM, and we know the sides of these. So Ob as the hypotenuse is going to be the square root of the square of OM plus the square of BM. Well, OM we've just calculated as 3 root 7. BM is half of the AB edge of the square, so that's root 7. So we've got the square of 3 root 7 add the square of 7, which is 70. So OB is equal to root 70. But we can see very quickly from our diagram, OB is a radius because O is the centre, B is on the circumference. So we can now use our formula for the area of a quarter circle, which is a quarter pi r squared, our normal circle formula. Putting root 70 into that, we get a quarter pi times the square of root 70, which is 70, which gives us 35 over 2 times by pi, which, if you prefer it as decimal, is equal to 54.98 square centimetres to two decimal places. And that's the area of our quarter circle. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.